This is the real Tom Rose, and we're talking about complicated subjects, in this particular case, compound subjects. Now, suppose we're evaluating subject verb agreement, and we are not sure what verb to use. So the students and the teacher um, are or is happy. This, is, this will be our verb. And so in order to evaluate which verb we need, we need to go back and find the subject. So let's say that we go back through the sentence and we're looking for subjects, and we come up with two possibles. We have subject one and we have subject two. And we're not sure which one of these goes with the verb. Now, I'll tell you right now that um, subjects and verbs come in pairs. You never have two subjects um, dealing with a verb, so something is wrong already. Um, and moreover, uh, what you'll notice is that students is plural and teacher is singular. So we have a conundrum, right? Um, how do we, first of all, what is the subject? And between students and teacher, which one do we use? Do we use the singular teacher or do we use the plural students? Which one of them controls the verb? Well, the way that you figure this out is you look at the word that joins them. Um, and in this particular case, the word that joins them is the word and. Now we're really fortunate here that and is the only word that creates a compound subject. This, students and teacher, is actually a compound subject. This whole thing is your one true subject. There is no subject one and subject two. And we're also fortunate in the sense that when you use the word and to create a compound subject, that subject will always be plural. So this is a plural subject, so we need a plural verb, which will be are. The students and the teacher are happy will be the correct sentence. Right? So remember, and is the only word that creates a compound subject, and the compound subject is always plural. So let's look at two more cases. Um, the teacher, together with the students, are or is happy. So again, we have a verb split here. We're not sure whether we want singular or plural, so we need to go back and find the true subject. Now, looking back through here, you might say, oh, we have teacher and we have students again. Uh, but in this case, this is not a compound subject. And the way that you know it's not a compound subject is it does not include the word and. And is the only word that creates a compound subject. So if it's not a compound subject, then we must be dealing with something else. And in fact, this becomes a regular subject-verb relationship. And together with the students is actually a modifier. You can tell it's a modifier because it answers the question, which teacher? Which teacher? The teacher together with the students. This is actually telling us information about the teacher. So that's a modifier and we're going to ignore it. So our true subject is teacher, which is singular. So we want a singular verb, so is will be the correct verb. The teacher is happy. That's the true relationship. Together with the students is simply a modifier for teacher. Okay, let's look at a third case. Um, Billy, with his friends, either want or wants ice cream. This is exactly the same situation as the second sentence that we did. Uh, we are not sure um, which verb to use, right? We're not sure whether we want singular or plural, so we have to go back and find the subject. There's two candidates. We have Billy and we have friends. And one of them is the true subject. And one of them is actually a modifier. The modifier is with his friends. Um, and you can tell that that's the modifier because it's telling us information about Billy. Right? What do we know about Billy? We know Billy is with his friends. So since that's a modifier, we're going to ignore it. And the true relationships become, relationship becomes Billy wants ice cream. We have singular Billy and we have singular wants. So to recap, the only way to ever create a compound subject is using the word and. Compound subjects are always plural. There are a bunch of other scenarios which may look to you like they are compound subjects, but if they don't use the word and, they are not compound subjects. And you should be eliminating something because it's a modifier.